Now, a personal computer, like any other computer, is just a nothing box full of electronic switches and hardware. You know, the IBM, the Altair, the Apple II, and it's all the same junk. Anyone can buy all this stuff off the shelf right now. It's called open architecture. I mean, IBM, they basically don't own anything inside the machine. Except the chip. Except what's on the chip. The BIOS is on one of these chips, we just don't know which one. And the ROM BIOS is the only part of the machine IBM actually designed. I mean, it, it is the program, it is the magic. Bad news is, they copyrighted it and they own how it works. The good news is, well, there's a way around that, sort of. Reverse engineering, right? Grab me the oscilloscope. And a pen and paper, we need to record these pin voltages. I'm a little rusty at this. Yeah. Plus five? Yeah. Zero? Mm-hmm. Zero. Mm-hmm. Plus five? Yeah. Zero. Mm-hmm. Plus five? No. Zero? Yeah. Plus five? Zero? Yep. Minus five? Yeah. Yeah. Zero? Yeah. Minus five? Yeah. Zero? Yeah. Plus five? Zero zero one three one six zero oh, four five six. Wait wait wait. What am I doing here? Uh, we're writing down the contents of the addresses. All right. So each group of four lights represents a hex digit. I understand hexadecimal code. How are you getting this from that? This first line. That's a B. Two on, one off, one on. Okay. Second line here. E. Three on. One off. Oh, I get it, I get it. One off. How many of these addresses do we need to transcribe? 65,536. C4213, C4213, C2713, 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 C2713,